Hey YouTubers, I want to talk to you quickly about two things, and that's re-receiving my Fuji stuff and equipment that you never ever throw away. Stay tuned. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography. Welcome back to the station. I'm glad to see you guys there. Thank you for your support and your time. I don't know why I decided to say that today, but I felt like it. Uh, I got my stuff back from Fuji. I had returned my Fuji X-T2 and my 55-200. The reason why I returned the 55-200 was that it had lens creep. And it was the fact that when you turn your lens over, it would actually slip out by on its own, therefore zooming in on the subject when you didn't expect it. I sent it back and Fuji definitely fixed it. They fixed an O-ring or something like that. That's what the model said on it. That's what the actual order form said, that they fixed an O-ring on this. Uh, and the other thing I got changed was the X-T2. Uh, the X-T2 was returned. I had permanent dust behind the protective glass of the actual sensor, which is kind of weird. Like this is not stuff that's supposed to happen. So I sent that back in and both things were done under warranty because I have had it for about four months. Uh, I still do love the camera. I really do enjoy it a lot. And um, it was just uh, a good experience. It took a little while longer than I thought. I expected it to take about a week and it took about 10, 10 11 days. I'll have to check it out. But uh, the service there was excellent and they did a good job. That's enough for Fuji. Now I want to talk about something that's kind of weird. And it boils down to equipment that you never ever get rid of. No matter how outdated it is, because for some reason, somewhere in your workflow, you can enjoy that piece of equipment and it saves your butt a lot of times. And I want to talk to you about this, guys. This is the Panasonic TM700 Handycam. This thing came out, I'll put the date there because I do not know the exact date on when this thing came out. But I use this thing whenever I do a shoot, a behind the scenes, an actual contract for a client, I open up this camera. I either put it on time lapse or I just put it on filming. It has internal 32 gigabyte memory and it also has an external card place to put your card in there where you can actually put another 32 or 64 gigabyte card. It's an SD card. This camera has saved me a million times. And, and listen, this is not a testament to me being negligent because for example, when I do shows, when I film live shows, I film with five cameras and I have a wide angle camera in the back serving as backup. But this guy, I always put it in a weird place with a weird angle. I also bought this really mega cheap wide angle and macro sort of lens that I stick on the front. Now, I just place this camera somewhere, wherever I'm shooting, either to document the shoot or to actually just have some sort of B plan. And it has come in quite it has saved my life quite a bit. Uh, one time I had an assistant that I didn't know uh, whether he was good or not. It ended up that all the angles that he had shot sucked. And I had this camera that was shooting wide. So I was able to at least go and recuperate. The client didn't even notice the difference. Um, I also used it on a couple of live shows. I place it really low on the ground because it has a super wide angle because of the uh, extension I put on it. So it gives me a, a really cool angle of attack. So whenever I'm doing a show, I can always cut to that shot uh, when there's a mistake happening on stage. For example, dance, circus, acts. When somebody drops uh, something they weren't supposed to drop or a dancer trips when they weren't supposed to trip, I can always go to this wide angle shot and you see that accident a bit less. So it's, it's always there, guys. It's... Um, and as I said, it's the HDC-TM700. Let's see if we can focus it. TM700. And uh, this thing is a 3 MOS, 35 uh, millimeter wide power iOS. So it does have stabilization. It's an old sucker. I bought this off someone for about 600 bucks. 
And it comes in handy. It really comes in handy. And you know what? I'm, I don't think I'll ever, ever get rid of it. It's so old that I could, I could maybe get 200, maybe 150 bucks off this thing. But you know what? It films HD. It films 1080. I believe it's just 1080i though. But it does film 1080 and it saves my ass a lot. I wanted to talk about that because I think everyone has that sort of equipment. Maybe I might be wrong. Maybe everyone just keeps themselves updated. But what I want to know, guess what it is? I want to know what your equipment is, the type of equipment you have that, that's outdated and you look at it and you go, what the hell? Why do I keep that thing? And every time you go out to do a shoot or you go and film, you always bring that camera and you always end up using shots from that camera. Uh, or whatever kit, it might be lighting or anything like that. Just let's talk about this, it's kind of cool. So I just wanted to mention that. So follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, share and subscribe people. And don't forget, keep on making something from nothing. Mm -hmm.